All right, now you know what time it is. Natasha, do you know what time it is? It is time it's to learn. It's time to learn about the most amazing places to visit here in the Holy You're Land. You're right, Aaron. That's your line. I'm sorry. These are places that most people have not seen before, and they're brought to you by Visit to Israel, one of the world's leading Instagram pages about how to travel in the Holy Land. Well, here with today's list is Ela from Ela Travels the World. So what's up first? Hi guys, so up first we're talking about the Baha'i Gardens Whoa. in the city of Haifa in North Israel. The Baha'i Gardens are amazing, amazing temple that is situated on the uh, top of Mount Carmel and goes down with 19 terraces in it. And yeah, also so you have to actually like see, right now in the first images we're not seeing what that looks like, but I mean, these are, ma it's basically massive, massive yes. terraces yes. that you can see from most angles of Haifa, which yeah. I love. So aside from the walking tour, I really recommend going inside the Baha'i temples themselves. Mm -hmm. they, they have an underground area which you can visit and learn more about the Baha'i religion dated back to the mid 19th century. Yeah. One of the most beautiful places in Israel and very unique. Oh, it's, um, there it's the so terraces unique. there. I think wow. that this might, honestly, might be one of the most beautiful sites in the, in the state Absolutely, of Israel. Absolutely, yeah, and honestly. With, with all the sculptural uh, kind of walkways and just, it's very, Yeah, and the Baha'i people have this amazing history that people, it's, it's a community that exists here mm -hmm. in Israel right now that people don't really know about. Exactly. And also you can see the sea. You can see the sea from the top, mm -hmm. which is this amazing romantic view yeah. if you want to take your wave there. Yeah, exactly. a, day, a, day, a day in Haifa must include the Baha'i guard. Yes, absolutely. Uh, all well, right, what's so, next? Yes. Yeah. St. George Monastery in the mm. Judean Desert. Okay, this Ooh. is yes. good So one. it's situated right. on a cliff and dated back to the fourth century. So it's one of the oldest churches here in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. It was inhabited by monks until the Persian invaded. And then uh, one, about 150 years ago, it was re-inhabited by the uh, Greek Orthodox Church. Wow. So there are a few uh, monks living there, like four or five. And you should, when when visiting, you there are should coordinate living in there advance. Today? Yes. That is what is so crazy because, you, right. first of all, in that first shot, you can barely even see the monastery from afar. <laughs> this is it, just gorgeous, though. It's it gorgeous. Me, yeah. So, how, I mean, how do you get there? And can you sleep there, or is it kind of like a one no, day visit? It's, it's a one day visit. You should coordinate, coordinate in advance with a touring company of something of that sort, not something that I would recommend going on your own. Yeah, it looks a little bit treacherous. And another. <laughs> Yeah, another last thing, uh, you should also dress accordingly. It's a mm -hmm. very holy place for the people that inhabit it, mm -hmm. and they demand their respect in that okay. manner. That makes sense. I mean, but just going there, still, it, it seems so worth it. I mean, the place looks like it was carved into the cliffside, which is yeah. amazing. Well, it, it actually is. Right. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. So, well, I, I know cool. that is one place that I have yet to visit, and I need mm -hmm. to go. You just can't miss that if no, you're here in Israel. 